Good evening, Mrs. Helton superheroes. I hope you're staying warm. We finally got above, like, in the single digits, maybe even maybe to 20 today. Um, I'm sorry we don't have school again tomorrow. I was I was kind of looking forward to having a friendship party. So I know you guys are a little bit disappointed about it. But, so, no word problem tomorrow? Go play in the snow. It's finally warm enough for me to tell you that. Um, when it was so cold, I didn't really want you to play in the snow. But it's warm enough now tomorrow that I want you to not do any math. I want you to go play in the snow. Okay? So, remember our strategy. We do U, P, S, check. U, underline, and understand. So I read it two times, and I underline the question. P, I make a plan, and I circle my numbers and what their, their labels are. S, I set up and solve, and I check my work. All right, so let's read it two times. Okay, I'm move a little bit closer to me, okay? Christoph is having a bicycle race around his neighborhood. If one lap of the track is 126 feet long and the race is over after five laps, how far does each racer have to go? I'm going to let Natalie read the second time. Christoph is having a bicycle race around his neighborhood. If one lap of the track is 126 feet long and the race is over after five laps, how far does each racer have to go? Okay. So, I think we've done you. We have read it two long times. Oh, we forgot a part. We have to what? Un underline? The question. Underline the question. And I think how is our question work? So, we're going to underline starting with how. How far does each racer have to go? All right. Now, we got to make our plan. Yeah. Okay. So, we got one lap is 126 feet long. Can you circle the next one? And what, so what would you circle next? Uh, five laps. Five laps. Okay. Hmm. So we have each as our keyword. Mm -hmm. I don't see any other keyword there. Mm -hmm. Okay. This and doesn't mean I'm putting two things together because I don't have two numbers there. So each, so now I gotta think, is it multiply or is it divide? Well, I don't think we're, he, the race should be a smaller amount of number than one lap. I think after the after five laps, it should be a bigger lap because five plus one equals six. Yeah, so we, we want it to be bigger. So I think we're going to multiply in this case, okay? All right, so we have Understand, we made a plan, okay? Now we need to do a, the setup, and she wants to draw the setup line for us today. So, so about right here, and go all the way across the board. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we got to restate our question. How far does each racer have to go? So I'm going to go each racer has to go blank, and then I'm going to pull feet from the word problem. And then this is a sentence, so it needs to end with a punctuation. So in this case, it's going to be a period. Very good. Got to check my friend of my sentence. Do I have a capital letter? Yes. And a period at the end? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now I have to solve. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to the part that I have some circles. If one lap of the track is 126 feet long and the race is over after five laps, how far does each racer have to go? So we we boxed in the keyword each, so that was multiply. I feel like this is a one-step problem. So we're going to do 126 times five. Okay. So six times five, so we're going to count by five six times. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. So plus 30. Now that's up. Now over 5 times 2. So count by 5 is 2 times. 5, five 10. 10. But now we got to add 3 to it. So 10 plus 3. So grab 10. 10, 10 11, 11, 12, 13. 13. Very good. Okay. I put my plus 1 there. Put my 3 in the tens place. Five times one is 
five. Five. Plus one more. Five plus one is? Six. Six. So I think the answer is 630. So I'm going to put the go ahead and put that in my answer line. But now I'm actually going to check. Well, we learned a different method besides just the traditional. So I'm going to ca calculate what is it, T? But remember, we also learned area. So I'm going to use area model to check my work. So I'm going to make a long rectangle. Long rectangle. I'm going to multiply it by five. Yep. And then I start here in the hundreds place. So this one means one hundred. Okay, one hundred. What does this two mean? So if I count by tens two times, ten. Ten, twenty. Yep, that two means twenty. Twenty. And this six just means six. six. And now I can do it this way. Five times one is five, and I add two zeros. One hundred. Five times two, five, five ten, ten, and I just add one zero. Five times six, so we're going to go count by five six times. Five, five ten, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Very good. Thirty. So then I can just add it. Five hundred plus one hundred plus thirty. Mm. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero mm. plus zero plus three is three. Three. And five plus one is? Six. Six. These so. match. So I'm very confident that my answer is? Five. Right or correct. Yeah. All right. Ha I will recommend a book tomorrow um, on Epic if you can get onto the internet. If you don't want to do that, um, I should highly suggest maybe doing just like 20 to 30 minutes on iReading if you can on math and reading um, sometime this weekend. Other than have a little fun this Play weekend in the snow, playing in the snow. Okay? Yeah. And All right. try to make it and try to make a snowman. Try to make a snowman. Yeah, that's yeah, that's her goal for tomorrow. That's what I'm going to try to do. All right. Me and Daddy are going to come out, and then we're going to have a snowball fight and try to make a snowman. Mm, okay. Sounds like a good plan. All right. Have a good Friday. See you Monday. Bye, guys. Bye.